I do have a theory that um, the reason that female artists are not as popular and, and, and don't make as much money as the men do is because they have to take a break and do the laundry. I don't think men artists have to worry about that. They probably have a wonderful wife who takes care of them. Four page bridges every day is a full day. After all, she keeps not one, but two homes. The first sits on a concrete slab. The second rests on wheels. Our personal trailer is uh, a 37-foot Montana fifth wheel and with an upstairs living room and a fireplace. Inside her not-so-mobile home, Paige begins the day's real work, putting paint to paper in a full-fledged artist studio. Before long, the big picture becomes clear. This isn't your average RV enthusiast. Paige Bridges is a fifth wheel fanatic. I love RVing, I love the simplicity of it. I think there's a little bit of vagabond in most of us. There's just something very elemental about being on the road in, on a temporary basis that's very appealing. It's because your home and your landscape is anywhere you park. You know, I think all of us enjoy nature. And so you can really get out there and, and visit all parts of the country. You know, we, ha we live in a beautiful country. The United States has everything you would ever want. For this longtime art teacher, a love of vintage trailer travel has become a successful career in RV art. Whether she's airbrushing a 67 Airstream or sketching a 55 Spartan, it's Paige's wandering soul that makes her motorhome masterpieces so magnificent. I do try to instill the spirit of RVing uh, in my artwork because it's something that speaks to my heart. It's something that speaks to my spirit. I think all of us like to paint what we like. And I, I don't think that it does any good to paint what somebody else likes if you don't love it. And I happen to just love RVing. And so this is just something that comes right out of my heart. You're looking at somebody who never got to take a family vacation. Uh, my dad, he worked for RCA and he was on the road. Uh, he, he covered the whole state of West Virginia. So I never got to go anywhere because for him, all he wanted to do was come home and relax. And so we never got to take a family vacation. So when this thing came about, I feel like I'm living vicariously through my paintings. I paint scenes of things that I would like to do. Well, they may be fine art, but Paige's paintings belong on the wall of a Winnebago, not gathering dust in some stuffy museum. And that's where Jerry Bergman comes in, the creator of the world's one and only RV art gallery in Texarkana, Texas. We have a collection of almost 60 different art prints by about eight different artists, and we're looking for more artists all the time. Uh, some of them have been commissioned by the RV Art Gallery. Some of them are original pieces that we purchased that are in our permanent collection. It was a great day when Jerry Bergman got hold of me. We actually found her on an internet search, and then we were thrilled to know she was in Wills Point, Texas. He wanted to start a gallery, and so I went up and visited him and, and saw how he took a very small space, and he took that and has made it into just a major attraction. Um, I'm very proud to have been one of the very first artists that he picked. Well, there's no telling what the open road has in store for Paige Bridges' career, but one thing is for sure. Modern day motor homers can't get enough of her antique RV art. For now, Paige will keep on trucking, bringing out the beauty of the back roads one still life trailer trip at a time. At my age, most people have already come and gone and done what they're going to do with art. And I, goodness knows I have knocked on all the doors that I could knock on. I've done art shows outside. I have sponsored art shows. I've, I've sold my work in banks. I've sold my work on eBay. I've done all the things that, that artists would think to do. And still, I never achieved what I'm achieving right now through Vintage Travel Trailer. 
Do I plan to retire? No way. I just believe we were meant to work and, and keep on working until we can't. And I'm so thankful to have found this. I want to ride this horse all the way down for as long as I can, but I have absolutely no plan to retire.